What is going on YouTube? This is Central Virginia EAS and today I'm going to show you how to program your Motorola Astro Radio. This will go to the Motorola Astro Saber, the Motorola XCS 1500, the Motorola XCS 2500, 3000, and 5000. Um, I'm not sure about the 4000 because I've actually never used it and I have no idea on how to use it as well as the 15,000, 3000, and 2500 so yeah but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna stick to my current radio which is the xcs 1500 so it's currently on acfr tech let's put it to prince edward fire department you don't have to put you actually don't have to put yours on the ch first channel i'm just doing that because well i want to so to program it you are going to have to use a certain type of connector it is a usb actually not usb I am using a um, Max Data programming cable. I will put all of the um, things you need in the in the description. And I currently am using a USB to RS two thirty two connector. I think this is an RS two thirty two. I'm not sure. All I can say is this is a serial cable. So yeah, this is a USB to serial. Uh, serial, 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 serial to um, Motorola, whatever. So yeah. So first, what you want to do is you need to. Um, what you want to do is you want to get uh, the. Um, you want to get the software. So how do you do that? If there's one on. There's like a um, disc on eBay that um, that has the software on it. I think there's another way how to get it online. I don't, honestly, I don't think there is, because when I got my when I got this radio, I wasn't able to program it because I didn't have the software. I looked everywhere online; it wasn't there. So I found the software disk online, and I'll I think if it's still there, I'll link it. If it's not there in the description, if the if the link is not there on the description, it's not on eBay. But here is what the disk will look like. This is the Motorola Astro 25 um, disc, and yeah. So, once you have that installed, I'll probably um, show you how to install it in a different video. Well, actually, I'll just show you how to install it now. Unbelievably, I'm using Windows 7! Ha ha ha! Yeah, once you, uh, once you insert your disc, if, it's, if you have one, you're gonna go to um, you're going to go to the files and open the folder. As you can see, there are many. Um, there are actually three files on it. If you want to program your Astro 25 Mobile, you're gonna click on that um, folder. But right now, we have the Astro 25 uh, Portable. We have the Portable Astro Radio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, Astro 25. We're going to set it up. We're gonna press set up. We are going to press yes. Based on what your um, computer is, the setup may be different. We'll let that happen. So here is your um, setup window. Okay. Um, usually you would, um, usually you would um, do other stuff. And yeah, and, and um, do buttons. Just follow the um, install prompts. So yeah. Um, so first, once you installed your software, we're gonna go to Astro 25. We're gonna open it. I said we're gonna open it. Thank you. Um, you're gonna press start using CPS. So. After, also, after you install, it's gonna want you to. Pro, it's gonna want you to. Um, it's gonna want you to restart your computer. So make sure you have this connected. Make sure you have this thing connected. If you don't, if it's not connected, it's not gonna work. Obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I've um, didn't. I did not have the serial and, um, cable connected to this thing before, and I forgot. So yeah, we're gonna press uh, read device. Whatever COM port you're having, aka um, whatever your USB, 
um, port you're using, you're gonna use okay. You're gonna press okay. It says program mode. That means it read the device. There is your startup. So first what you want to do is um, you're going to go to uh, conventional. You're going to go to conventional personality. I know I have six. We're going to create a new one here. And to create a new one, you should you should actually have a one. You should have conventional personality one by default. So we're gonna press plus right here. If you if you have other um, conventional or not uh, conventional personalities. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to receive because if you do not have alright. So because I am going to scan a um, frequency. So. We're going to do receive only. So, if you have a scanless, um, use it if you want to. Yeah. Quick call. These are your um, decodable options, such as like um, these are like your um, data options and stuff, uh, such as quick call two, DTMF, MDC. Um, and yeah, here's Astro, which is a digital, which we're not going to discuss in this video. That will be probably in a different video. So once you have your conventional, your new conventional personality, we're going to go through, we're going to go to, um, zone channel assignment right here. Um, we're going to go to zone channel assignment one, and that is default. As you can see, here's all the frequencies. Um, yeah, no one's really going to care about me showing the frequencies because it's on radio reference. So, yeah. So, we're going to press the plus button right here. Do not press this one right here or you will create a new zone channel assignment. If you want to, you can. But, for, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new one. So, yeah. As you can see, it's a zone channel, or actually channel 7, because this is channel 7. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we are going to go to radio reference. So here, and what I'm going to program is this frequency right here. And I probably shouldn't have touched the laptop. <laughs> Everyone's going to yell at me now. But whatever. Um, we'll try not to, we'll not do that again. We're going to program this frequency. If you have a different frequency, you can program it. Um, this is my frequency I'm going to program. It is 453825 Montgomery County, Alabama, because I'm going to Alabama tomorrow. So yeah. I'm going to have to, yeah. 453825, you, what you're going to do is you pro, you, um, that was blurry. You are going to Click right here, double click the receive frequency option. You're going to enter your frequency. Uh, mine is 453.825, zero megahertz, or no, that was 824.825 megahertz. You are going to select your personality. For example, mine is personality seven. If you have a P, if your if your frequency is set or your um site is set or when I mean by sites when I mean like frequencies and stuff like um the station if the station has a squelch type like a PL tone you're going to go to here whether it's um PL or DPL um mine does. I mean, um, if you want to, you don't have to. Mine does. Mine is on a freak, or actually, no. I, actually, yes, frequency of 179.9 hertz. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to, if my phone will focus, click PL or DPL. And we're going to go to here. We're going to enter, actually, no. We're going to go here. We're going to enter 179.9 hertz. And you can enter your PL tone 
whether the station or yeah you can enter your station's pl tone or the station that you're monitoring or scanning um you don't need to mess with these because that has everything to do with p25 and i'll probably discuss that in a different video quick call too if you if you if you're um Station has a quick call system or a two-tone system. You can go here and enter the frequencies. And in order to turn it on, you're going to go to your con your personal conventional personality. You're going to go into quick call two and um, actually no, you're going to go to signaling and go to quick call or DTMF quick call and whatever you want. My hand is getting really tired. So yeah, I'm, I'm just about to end this video anyways. So yeah, that is actually going to be it. This is how to um, store a conventional channel, an analog channel on your Motorola radio. So that will be it for this video today. I did forget to mention two things. Once you're done entering the channel frequency, you can name the channel anything you like. There is a character limit for the channel name and the character limit is 10 characters long. For, so for this channel, I will name it Mont Fire Alabama because tomorrow I will be going to Alabama and instead of monitoring the Elmore County Fire Department frequency because it is on a VHF frequency, I will be monitoring the Montgomery Fire Department instead because it is using a UHF frequency and I have the UHF model of the XTS 1500. Once you're done programming your radio, press write to device. This will write all the programming that you've done to your radio. So we're going to press that. My radio just beeped, meaning it is receiving the programming. Right, successful. Congratulations, you have programmed your radio with the CPS software. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye. There is a character limit for the channel name, and the character limit is 10... There is a character limit for the character name. Oh no. There is a character limit for the channel name and the character. <laughs> there is a character limit for the character. There is a char. There is a character limit for the channel name and the channel. There is a character limit for the char. <laughs> you are witness. You guys are currently witnessing failure. <laughs>